All right, in this video, I'm gonna be plasti dipping the emblems for my Mazda 3. This will work for most vehicles. I do this Sky Active one as well, and then cut out the blue section. I wanted the plasti dip to stay on the Sky Active where it says Sky Active. Wasn't really the case, but that's okay. Maybe I'll try and redo it again. And like I said, the product I got is just plasti dip. Whether this looks better or not, I guess is subjective. I think a lot of people like it, and then I'm sure other people think it looks stupid, but I'm gonna give it a go. If you don't like it, you can always take it off and it is pretty fast and easy to do. One important step is to get a good detailed cleaning on the thing that you're gonna plasti dip. Obviously, if you're doing your badges, get in there with something like a toothbrush or Q-tips might help as well. I think this car washing mitt does a pretty good job. After washing it with the soap and water, I rinse it off good with just straight water, wipe it down with microfiber and then just let it dry in the sun for a while. The day I did this was a little too hot and humid, I think and may have negatively impacted the plasti dip a little bit, but if I want to redo it, it's not too hard to do that. To mask out the emblems, I'm just using some painter's tape. I would recommend pushing the painter's tape down a little bit harder than I did because I found it lifted it off a little bit, and I did get a little bit of overspray where I didn't want it. The overspray is not a big deal because you could just wipe it off with water and a microfiber towel, but obviously if you could avoid getting the overspray in the first place, that would be preferable. And that's it. Pretty, pretty easy to mask this thing off. And then obviously you shake the can up for a while. If it was a cold day, you might want to put the can in warm water. And then I'm just going to go back and forth over the emblem and paint right onto the paint on the vehicle while I'm doing it. So I'm going to peel that off afterwards. And for this, I'm just using a sweeping motion and just doing short bursts with the spray paints. So I sweep from one side and let off the nozzle once I get to that far side and just sort of go in a back and forth and up and down motion just to make sure that the entire badge is covered by the plasti dip and I'm going to do four coats on everything. Obviously don't go too heavy on the first coat, there's going to be a few more, but I do want to make sure that it's fully covered on that first one. So to mask out the Mazda 3 emblem, same process, and then once again same process back and forth with the plasti dip spray can and then just get a good first coat on it. And like I said, this is the Sky Active logo. I take a razor and, and cut it out so that the blue shows through. I was hoping the Plasti Dip would stick on where it says Sky Active, but that wasn't the case. So I might redo it. And I also do the front, although I don't really film the front in this too much. One thing to note, I did do a touch up on the clear coat on the front and the Plasti Dip did seem to impact where I used aftermarket clear coat. So anywhere where it was factory finish on the vehicle, uh, no issues at all, but just where I had done some touch up, I found the, the Plasti Dip caused a bit of a hazing. So I may have to go back and do a little bit of re-clear coat on some of that. Um, but, but like I said, on the actual factory finish, there was no problem. And that, that's right there where I did some touch up paint and touch up clear coat on the hood. Not too big of a deal, but obviously the Plasti Dip didn't work as well on the front as it did on the rear. And like I said, it's just because of that aftermarket clear coat. And for this, I wait 30 minutes between coats and I do four coats in total. And then once I hit that last coat, I try to go a little bit heavier and make sure that I got a really good consistent coat on the lettering. And then after waiting another 35, 40 minutes or so, I just take off all the tape and all of the paper, and then I'm gonna peel off the Plasti Dip. For the most part, the Plasti Dip sort of starts peeling off just while you're removing the paper and the tape. So you can see there that it's lifting off with the tape. Now, like I said, I think I should have done this on a bit of a cooler day. It is hot, it is humid, but it does come off pretty nicely. Couple spots where it wasn't perfect, but this is my first try. Overall, it did, it did a good, job. I can't complain too much. And like I said, I did get a little bit of overspray. You can't really see it, but there's, you know, there's some speckling from the Plasti Dip on the paint in a few spots. I just used water and a microfiber towel to clean that up. So again, maybe having an X-Acto knife at the ready would be helpful, but for the most part, it peeled off really well. There's probably better techniques to make sure it doesn't lift off anywhere. But overall, no issues really getting the Plasti Dip off and for it to stick on the letters only. Yeah. 
And for this particular badge, everything came off really well. But like I said, just where I went with the X-Acto knife to remove the area that was on the blue. So I wanted the blue to show through, or at least I was trying that. Uh, it didn't work where it says sky active. So it all peeled off. So it didn't just peel off the blue area that was around where it says sky active. It, it came off the lettering as well. So there is that. Now I'm just taking some sort of a shish kebab skewer. A toothpick would work as well. And really just need to cause the Plasti Dip to ripple, grab a corner, and then it sort of peels off. And for the bottom, same thing. Camera's really focusing on my hand, but that's okay, you get the idea. The other thing you could do is just get a bit of it on the toothpick that you're using and sort of twist it up. And I think that would take it off as well. Anyway, that's the emblem. I do take the toothpick and get some of the Plasti Dip out from between the D and the A in Mazda, a little bit between the three, and just make it look a little bit better. But that's pretty much it. Overall, pretty fast and easy. If you like the look, then it looks good. If you don't like that look, then I would say don't do this. But overall, I think it looks good. I'll see how it holds up. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.